Hey, it's Bridget. Nice to see you. Hi. Today I have a card reading for you, like a legit full-on card reading. We're going to do a card reading. I was trying to think, is there something that I should ask? And I thought it would be really good timing to talk about the moon and the moon cycles. We are actually just a day past, two days actually, past the full moon. And it was the first full moon of the year. We're in January 2021. And no matter when you see this card reading, it is for you. There's a piece, a nugget, a message, something for you. So the timing doesn't have to be precise or exact. That's more of a linear kind of a human thing. But I like to say the date because I feel like this energy that I'm connecting to is that post full moon, two days past the full moon and first full moon in a year in the year, January 2021. And today's date, we are the last day of January. <laughs> so it's the 30th today. All right, so we're gonna go with our tried and true sacred traveler card deck by Denise Lynn. This is one that I recommend. I use this for daily practical kind of use. So if I have a decision I need to make, like my dogs, if you guys follow me on Instagram at Bridget Inspired, you know that my dogs weren't feeling so good in the beginning of the year. They are dealing with some yuck. And so I actually used this deck and did a card reading to decide if we were going to take them when it was time to take one of them into the vet, kind of to represent the crew. And so I used that. I also used this recently um, for someone that was going through some some decision-making process and she was really nervous about it and wasn't sure what was gonna happen. She had taken some steps down a path toward a goal that she had and she was really nervous about it, kind of in a waiting state. And so I drew some cards and they were right on point. So these are very practical, but yet magical cards. Okay, so again, that's Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. I like Denise Lynn's work. So if you are getting into Oracle cards or starting to use your own cards, maybe not to do your own psychic readings, but just for positive insight, Denise Lynn is a good place to go. All right, so here's what the cards look like. If you're new here, there's a lot of these card readings with this deck because we've used it a lot in our time together, haven't we? So we want to get some insight here as the moon energy. So there's a lot of, it was a full moon. So that usually shines a light on to um, uh, opportunity f opportunities for us, um, makes things real obvious. I always say it's for clarity and clearing, because it is, you have to clear some stuff out. Sometimes it shines a light on the places you don't necessarily want to see. It does good work with the shadow of energies. And so we just had that full moon, but we're also at the ending of a month. So it does feel like there's a time of kind of we're wrapping up energetically. So I'd like to know if there's additional insight for us between this full moon and into the next moon, which is a new moon. All right. So the next parts, I usually use the two to kind of anchor or balance. So the full moons, the new moons each month I follow and connect into. And if you're in my divine woman group, hi, you guys, um, we meet on the full moon and I will be shortly starting a soonish starting a uh, another group call uh, for the new moon, which will be intuitive woman. We'll meet on the new moons. So we've got a, a nice balance there, huh? So let's see, let me just check here. I'm gonna tell you, I think I know the next full moon or the next new moon, the next moon energy that comes forward is on the 11th, February 11th. I just pulled out my trusty paper calendar here, February 11th where I'm at anyway, Central Standard Time. I'm not sure when the um, when exactly that new moon is supposed to be at its peak. Now the new moon energy is very different than the full moon energy because the new moon energy is more mysterious because you can't see it. So it's a time for kind of resting, for kind of stepping back, kind of going within, really connecting, really restful like, um, 
replenishing kind of energy and and intimacy within self and understanding the the gifts and desires and how all those parts of you fit together so it's really like a personal time in that regard really kind of a sweet time it can be and that full moon that we just had is like it was very loud let's just say that very loud <laughs> energy so what can we expect we'll ask what can we expect we'll ask the lunar guides goddesses guide aspects so ask for the lunar goddesses energy of divine feminine to assist us to help us through this these cards to help guide us in the next um, week and a half or so until we hit that full that new moon point so between the the full moon and the new moon what is it that we can um what is it that's best for us to know okay what is it best for us to know and maybe when i say no i mean focus on what deserves our focus okay what is best for us to know and what deserves our focus i just got something out here for what is best for us to know and what deserves our focus okay so this could be an aspect of life this could be a portion of a relationship it could be a response to a question a decision that you're trying to make or a choice that's been oh do you see this one just literally came up and didn't fly, fly away but it came up and close focus okay all right so we've got two cards Are you ready all right first we have great adventure what is important for us to know that the next week and a half might be adventurous which is a nice way to say it could be bumpy energetically things could be a little bumpy the seas might not be as calm as they appear to be. well they don't appear all that calm actually when i'm looking at this imagery lots of green energy the fact that the water element is green i'm going to tell you that the water element is connected to the heart and emotions and the fact that it's green honors the fact that the heart chakra, when you look at chakras or energy centers of the body, it is often depicted as green. All right, so healing, heart-based energy, so emotions. Your emotions could be up and down. You could experience that. That's important for you to know between now and then. So there might be some bumps here. You might get a little, uh, it might be a little wobbly energetically. However, I also see, so it says, take a risk and venture forward. Anything that you do right now as you step into February anyway is going to feel, there's going to be a self-doubt stuff going on anyway. There's going to be this, should I, shouldn't I? There's going to be questions about timing. There's going to be, is this the right time? Because you're not going to get a for sure yes to anything you decide to do in the next several days. I'm just gonna tell you that. It's not, there's not gonna be anything, yes, go do that, yeah, you gotta do that. It's more so of an energy of being very aware of yourself and how you are interpreting and understanding, not taking a temperature externally and finding out what the environment is ripe for, but what are you ripe for? Not the environment, but you, the environment's going to be rocky the next, at least through the 11th of February. So you're not going to be able to look outside of yourself and get affirmations like you maybe usually do and reflections from others because others are going to be going through stuff. And if they haven't already, they're going to start. And so you might kind of see the, just the beginning points of that. Everybody has their own journey. So energy affects you in unique ways. That's totally normal, but overall, you're not gonna go outside to see what's ripe and the opportunities aren't gonna to come to you like out here, they're gonna come from inside. It's gonna be a very organic awareness process. So checking in with yourself is gonna be the best thing that you can do. If you're really aware of your body, this also feels like embodiment to me. Um, when, we're, when I see this energy of the boat and the water kind of moving, the water's the emotions, up and down, up and down. The boat is you, the embodiment, and the boat is holding you. All of these images, all the little people in there, and the leadership energy is all of the different aspects of you, body, mind, heart, and soul. If the, the boat represents the body, you've got the mind, heart, and soul. And then this energy of the person in the front or the vibration of the person in the front is you bringing everything forward, bringing everything together from within you, not externally. You're not gathering other people. This is you gathering yourself, getting your act together, getting your sh together, okay? It's you, all right? Anything you do is gonna feel risky. It's natural. It's not that it's wrong. Do not misinterpret that energy. You gotta know yourself. You gotta feel into that energy of self and knowing self is intuition, okay? 
you got to trust your intuition and just keep moving forward. All right, keep moving forward. The wind is supporting you. The wind is behind your sails, okay? All right, so then what did I ask about focus, right? Where should we focus then? Mm, this is a good, good one. Hmm. All right. Discovering truth. What is true for you and what is true for me, very different. We have seen this. All this, these two cards really remind me of the political landscape in the US right now, really very, very, very much. And saying that though, I asked where you're gonna focus, where you're gonna focus. This concept of truth has been very, used to be like this concrete thing, right? And now it's much more um, up for interpretation. It's really obvious that whatever you believe is true. What is true for you? It's it's funny too, because I think back over the last several years and you would see these things where like some with celebrities and stuff, they'd come out on their Instagram and they'd be like, this is my truth. This is my truth. You know, that kind of a thing. Or I'm speaking my truth or in, in um, spiritual development, personal development stuff, there's all, there, you know, in the community, kind of in the circles and stuff, it's like, speak your truth, speak your truth. There's been this kind of thing about truth, truth, truth and how it's individualized, it's been individualized and internalized, and yet collectively, what happens is everybody has their own variation of what the truth is. And it doesn't have to do with what's fact or fiction, or what's a lie or what's a truth. It doesn't even, it, there's no balance anymore of truth. There's no opposite of it. It just is, truth just is. And so if you think of it in a concept of not a positive or negative, or a yes or a no, and you just think of truth as just a thing, just is, then there's not really a charge to it as much. But discovering truth is here. Look, so see, there's one person going one way on the journey, and there's two other people going a different direction. So you may have recently changed directions, and other people might be giving you a lot of information or well-intended advice, or you've maybe even asked. You might have been seeking out advice. What should I do? What should I do? Asking all these people and gathering input and insight. But that's external. Like, remember how we talked about this? The external environment is really, it's not ripe for support right now. It's not ripe for confirmation or affirmation in any way right now. It's just not. And so you may have been asking a lot of input and people may have been giving you what they perceive or believe. Perceive information out here, kind of digesting it in the mind, or, res uh, or believe, I believe this in my heart. I believe this, not heart like intuitively, I believe this as in this is my value, this is my core, which is rooting you into your mind. The idea of belief and what is true is about your brain in this conversation. Okay, so where are you gonna focus? Other people are giving you different bits, tidbits, little pieces of what they perceive or believe as truth. Their truth isn't yours and yours is not theirs. Okay, so discovering, this concept of discovering truth is about finding that inside yourself, finding ways to connect within yourself to affirm what is true for you. What is true for you is about alignment. Instead of what is true or the truth, let's replace that with alignment. Discovering alignment, right? So where is your focus? It's not external, it needs to be internal. That doesn't mean you don't participate in external things or go to your class in college or go to your work meetings or do your job or pay your bills or whatever. You still participate, you still get, you still have interaction external. But when it comes to you and making decisions for your best self, okay, for your life, what really matters to you between the full moon, clearing, clarity, what's obvious, and the new moon, quiet time, planting seeds, coming into that sacred intimate space with yourself to kind of allow some of those sweet desires to help to encourage you, those cool ideas, the great imagination, the creative part of you, the dreamer part of you, so, so important, that's magical. We've got to have that. And those experiences happen inside of ourselves. They do, they happen inside of ourselves. So how can you support that? 
How can you support that kind of a focus, discovery within? You stand in the light of truth. You stand in the light of alignment. Whatever your beliefs and values are, whatever you perceive, that information is helping to contribute to what you are standing in, okay? What you are a stand for, what you are, okay? What you are. You stand in the light mm. of truth. Cheers to that, my friends. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is an Elvis mug. It's been one of my favorites lately, my Grace Lind one. One of the viewers sent this to me some time ago, probably like a year or so ago. Very yummy. Mm -hmm. So there's another message here I'm going to share with you. It's very clear to me that this is political as well. Like this is a little bit of a context for what's going on in the United States right now. Um, there's a new president. There is a lot of um, division, even more so now, kind of reflected, playing out. Regardless of what I personally believe, there's a lot of agitation and aggression, and it's pretty visible and pretty obvious. So the external environment is like a huge pot being stirred. So it's really important then for the internal pot of your belly, your sacral chakra, your womb space, your core, your solar plexus, your, where, your, where your sun chakra is, and that belly, that belly button area, that, that intuition is your spirit lives. It's really important for that to be really, really on point for you, for you, so that you're not carried away by somebody else's um, information, by somebody else's fears or worries or emotions you know the empath within us all and our heart chakra can be very um, intense at times when there's other things going on in the environment so if you can tone down your intake of news that includes youtube stuff i'm saying this for myself as well and give yourself give yourself the benefit of not having to feel pushed or rushed this is not act now do this now it's really about like kind of this decision making, understanding all the all that there are so many different moving parts here, including within yourself. It's super important to be connected into your center and what you desire. And you don't even really know that right now because your whole desires have gone off the wayside for just the practical day to day living. We got to get this done. We got to pay the bills. We got to make sure I have a job. We got to make sure we got health insurance. All those things have become front and center. And a priority, whether or not that's affecting you directly in your family, your household, your job, it's affecting us collectively. And so the dreams and desires piece has totally like not even become a talking point. It seems almost frivolous. It's not. It is part of the secret of what grounds and centers you and keeps you in that alignment. Discovering your truth is about discovering those parts of yourself, those desires that, that are connected to the skills and the gifts and the talents that you have that are connected to your interests. And whatever it is that, that you, you are wanting, whether you know what you want or not, there is still the want and desire there. You just have to discover that. What is the truth of that? What does that represent for you? What does that what does that potentially give to you for inspiration so you can take other steps okay step by step by step piece by piece by piece you're never going to see the big picture especially not now there's no way there's so much movement there's no way do not wait for things to calm down you are the calm in the storm you are the center point you are the grounded one the most wise one but it comes from the sacred intimacy and that new moon energy on February 11th that will bring you uh, opportunity to start to connect with that more fully. And maybe that's something you want to set as an intention for the year ahead to connect more fully in those times of darkness or quiet because that new moon energy is not, you don't see the moon. You don't see it. It's quiet. It's a quiet night, but you know it's there. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, this was great. Thanks so much for being here today, for connecting in with the moon energy. So we got some information about what we needed to know after this full moon in January 2021 and what we should be focusing on, what we need to be focusing on until that new moon on February 11th. This is Bridget. You're watching me on my Fairy Grasshopper vlogging channel. I have another YouTube channel, Above Life Channel, where I do mediumship psychic stuff there and I channel afterlife celebrity guests. So you can check out Above Life Channel. You can find me on social media. I'm Bridget Inspired. Sometimes I pop on live on Facebook. Just random when I feel like it, I'll just jump on there and say hello. And you can also see me and follow my work on Bridget Inspired on Instagram. Thanks so much for being here. I hope that we've inspired your spirit and filled you with hope today with this lunar moon energy connection.